Hi friends, today we are going to see about 68 encouraging phrases to tell your child. If you are boosting your child by these positive information, automatically your child would be more energetic and they will stimulate and positively behave in their life. Now I will tell some of those things. I noticed that you clear the table yourself. Motivate them by saying that I noticed that you clear the table yourself. Then you say, well done, well done. You make my heart full, you make my heart full. I can see you spend a lot of time on this. I see you spend a lot of time on this. You are acknowledging time that they are doing their duty. What do you think? You are asking the opinion to the child. Look at your improvement. You are just pointing the child what is the improvement they are making. I am having so much fun being with you. Just it in, that is inform them that you are happy with your child and you are being having a very fruitful time with them. Seeing you happy makes me happy. By saying that the children want to feel okay I want to make my parents happy so I have to be happy. And next thing is you are beautiful inside and out. You have to give a positive energy to the children that they are beautiful not only outside, they are inside too. Though it would create some positive energy in them. And the next thing is that is uh, watching you grow up is the best. While I will be happy you that uh, seeing you are growing up each and everything. You are very much studious in everything like that you are encouraging your baby. And next thing is I love seeing the world your way. You are saying that I will be seeing the world by the point of you. So I will be very much happy. You make me so happy just by being with you. So you are giving confirmation to the child that you are happy by staying by his side. I am excited to spend time with you. So you are telling that he, you are very much happy to spend your time with them. You are capable. You are giving the positive energy that the child is able to do anything. I had no idea you could do that. You impressed me. So if you are saying that the child though it is impossible for them, by your positive idea automatically the children would improve their uh, level best and they can do the work on their own. I am proud of you. So once you are making this word to your children automatically they will do many good deeds and they want you to be proud of them. Your ideas matter. So once by asking the ideas of your children automatically they feel they are having the problem solving tendency and they could create or think what they have to do on their way and what way they can improve themselves and you have to say you are capable and I had no idea you could do that you impress me so by the way they are behavior you are impressing them I am proud of you automatically all the children are happy about this word your ideas matter so they improve their rational thinking and then you have to say the most important word I love you. So it just assure to the children that you really love them and they will do the same thing that in the future. So guys please tell the children that you really love them and then you are happy to be with them and surely that children would never do anything without your acquaintance. And next thing is you are really brave you are strong if you are saying like that the church children uh, feel somehow uh, agitated in doing something but your words motivate them to be strong and they will become brave in future there is no problem so big that you can't come to me so you have to say to them if you have any problem don't feel hesitant come to me for my help or try to improve yourself you are motivating them automatically they will do on their own it's okay if you mess up. I mess up too. What's important is to learn from our mistake. This is the important word we have to teach to the children because in the present scenario, many children committing suicide by saying that there is a failure in the exams or they are not getting something. We have to motivate the children. Failures and mistakes are common. We are also done so many things. But we learn from the mistake. We should never repeat the same. If you are telling the student again and again, it creates the positive energy in them. Though they fail, but they learn what is the way they have to get up from their mistake. 
and next thing is you are so loved you have to say to them they are very much lovable person i believe in you so if you are saying like that the children would feel hesitant to tell lies because you are 100% believing them so they feel they should never tell lies i am curious what you think so if you are asking this word the children would feel oh i have to think better because my parents trust me and then if i were you in your shoes i would feel so so if you are feeling that your children are not thinking in a better way but you have to give some now that is a reinforcement by saying this if i'll be in your position i'll be think in this way so what is your way of thinking in this situation if you are giving some guidelines in this way automatically the children will learn the way of yours and they can also think like this and then i'm happy to talk with you you are you are you are telling your children that you are happy automatically they also feel very much satisfied you can say no you have to give your children the word no why because if everything what the children want if you are saying yes means automatically in outside world to the children feel very much frustrated if anyone say no so in home itself you have to say no to the children and make them accommodate this word no and they also learn to say no to some other persons too so you can say no to our children and next one i have faith in you so automatically this word is more important thing to create positive energy in your children you can learn from your mistakes this repeatedly you have to say this i love you kind you are to others because you have to say to the children that you are must be kind if you are saying like that the children will never learn but you are saying that i have got quality i love you is you are having kindness to others that's why i like you so automatically this improve the kindness quality of your children I love you kind to others you are such a good friend so when will you have time you just tell to your kid that they are feel like a friend so whenever they have some problem instead of telling to others automatically they come forward to share their thoughts with you too that's a great question if they ask some silly question don't demotivate them just tell them it is a great question very good that it is a very nice question and try to tell the answer to them and then in future if they have some question they never block or never feel hesitant to ask to you if i ask something my parents should answer so that kind of thing that children would develop in their mind i love being around you then you have to say to them that i always love to be with you love around you so you have to confirm this word to your children you have great ideas though they come up with a small idea encourage them your idea is great no one is going to get this kind of idea your idea is innovative wow like that if you are just encouraging them automatically surely in few years a few days they will come with a bright ideas of their own seeing your parent is my favorite job that you are saying that my job is i have to see you and i have to make you grow that is my favorite job and you make me smile whenever you see the children you say that you are the one who give full happiness to me many children come in society why because they don't understand the true love of the parents they are scolding them only for sake of their better man but they feel that their my parents never love me that would be the negative effect of their side so you just tell them you love uh, their children what was really was choice then you tell them me smile and your choice is the best i know you did your best though your children have some failure tell them you given your best so there is no need to worry so you support them in the positive way i understand you because many children are just listening or earning this word from their parents because tell them i understand you okay this time you fail but next time there is lot of possibility for you to win okay this feel is not like bell to you okay go to i'm going to choose something which is interesting for you give some open choice to your children automatically they will come up in the best way and next one is i can see how hard you bride you says tell how hard they are working we are acknowledging you 
I know you can handle it. And though you are suffering or suffocating in some way, don't go and give your hand. Just tell them, you can do, you can handle. Give them some motivation. Automatically they can solve. In future also, if they are having a problem, they never expect you. They themselves solve the problem. And next one, I love hearing your opinion. This word you have to repeat again and again. Why? Because many children always become the person who is hearing from everybody. Instead of becoming the uh, entrepreneur they become only the whether is person who is answering a uh, job of anyone so if you are making them to think on their own in future who knows your children is to be the big entrepreneur in the world of this society and then you have to make them to feel uh, that is I love hearing your opinion we can try your own way so if the children are doing something different, give them the hand to think on your way. You are worth it. Whenever they are doing something, you say that, you acknowledge them, you are worth it. If you are giving some sweets, you are giving some, uh, that is a uh, prize to the children, just tell you are worth it. You are very great student, very, very great children. That was a really good choice. If your children is choosing something, acknowledge them. It is just choice is really good. You tell positive sides of the choice and it make the children analyze. Okay, in future if I choose some choice, it will be like that. Or they can understand their way. I have so much fun with you. So whenever you are playing with your children, say that I feel very much happy, I have very good fun and then they feel okay, my parents also love me, they are spending time with me, like the children is feeling some security, you must be so proud. So if they have done something and if your children is uh, planting some, that is, uh, that is uh, pouring some water than the plants, encourage them, okay, I'm proud of you, you are just now improved. If the children is uh, giving, helping some uh, you know, poor and needy, encourage them, I'm proud of you. Automatically they feel happy and they can do something, good things again and again. And nobody is perfect. And no thing is you tell, if there is any failure, tell the children, you nobody is perfect, everyone is having some failure. Flaws. Getting fly is not a problem at all. Getting out from the flaw is more important. Nobody is perfect. Try to learn from your mistakes like that you told yesterday. Thank you for helping me out. And whenever you are having the chance, make the children to understand to say thank you. And you also say the same word thank you to your children. And they learn this basic principle saying thanks. And I appreciate you. Once you are appreciating your children, they develop the habit of the, it, the children also having the habit of appreciating others. And they know, okay, I have to appreciate things. My parents are doing that. I also like them because you are become the low role model for them. So be the better role model and make them to appreciate the things. I love how you said that. Sometimes the children are speaking like a very miraculous way. Acknowledge the word and tell them I really like the way we are saying and really I love the way we are doing the work. I really uh, and it is like that. You just appreciate them. The next thing is uh, you see things so clearly. Once the children is doing something and giving some idea, give the point that you are seeing the things clearly. You have a bright future. Like that, give some positive energy in their behavior. Good thinking. If they say some uh, innovative ideas, if they say something while in the conversation, don't ignore the children. Say that very good thinking. In future, you are having a better thinking like this. Like that, you motivate them. Uh, you know, the small kid would be the better person in future, good citizen. So if you are motivating them, encouraging them automatically, their problem solving and thinking capacities will widen and encouraging. You make me laugh. So you are creating the children positive vibration and they are making themselves happy and the people around them also happy. And then you have got what it takes. So you have to say to the children, what all things you are so, you are going to reap. So you have to sow only positive things and yeah, the children is going to get only the positive things. So try to sow the best thing what you are right. And whenever you have time, make the children to read some stories than the books. Make them to listen to the audio books. Make them to listen to the good stories. And moral habits automatically inculcate the students to be the very good child and future citizens too.